Hello YouTube, Ryan from Silver Bar Salmon Flies here. Today we're going to try and tie a variant, which I'm claiming originality on. It's a variant of the junction shrimp, I call it the black junction. Um, and it's on a size 8 partridge period double hook. This is a red U2C Ultra Thread and 70 denier. Wind the oval silver tinsel rib on. It's a silver tinsel uni French rib in small. Just wind it till you get to about the point of the hook. For your tag, form your tag. Two, three, four. Four or five turns come between the two hooks underneath, tighten up, secure it in with a thread turn. I like to take my um, tinsel material, the length of the body, and then back again. Gives it a good bulk for the body. Um, as a lot of these flies, I think they get sort of tied. And they've got skinny little midriffs like. Right, so that's that. Secure that in at the back. Bit of wax. Bucktail I've got today for the tail. There's black bucktail in the stacker. Get it all level. And tie it in. I like a long tail on mine, like sort of. Once twice twice the length of the hook here's a good rule of thumb and again make sure your tail's sitting where you want it that looks all right again i'm wanting the buck tail cut on a slight angle at the front helps finish your fly off Helps uh, things taper off towards the front of the fly. But again, I'm tying it in the full length of the body. You don't need to, because this is a two section body on the fly of this one. But um, I like tying them in the full length of the body. More bulky, more secure, more body to it. That's just the way I like it. Come all the way back down. Seems like a lot of excess work, uh, excessive work, but. That's just the way I tie it, I like it like that. Actually, I'll tell you what, I've come back a few turns because I'm putting a silver micro flash in this. This is a silver micro flash from Vineyards, same length as the tail fibres. Place it on, over with the thread turns, secure it in, fold it back over. Make sure it's in the middle of your bucktail. Centralised, wing back up to the tag, cut it off, sit it down, that's lovely. Right, bit of wax on the thread. The first section of this back half of the body is black floss, uni floss, 601 ply, black floss. Tie a black floss on at the back. Underneath, if you can get it, I'm struggling here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll tie it on, I'll pull it round and then just pull it back. It's about the right proportion to the body where you're going to stop winding it in. There's a little bit of a straggler there, I can see it. I'll just cut it off, it's annoying us. Right, keep coming forward to about the halfway point where you're going to stop it. Okay. Straighten your fibres out on your floss. Take it over the top. Check if it's going to go around nice and straight. And start winding your floss body on. Flatten the fibres out as you can. Just a bit of left to right motion when you're turning it. I frayed the floss here with my dry skin on my fingers. I've caught it. Um, and there's bits frayed. I do that with my thread regularly. 
Um, but again, some of them you just get away, you know. Oh, the odd fluffy bit you are there coming off your fly, they're not perfect. A handmade, a handmade flies, and the fish will not notice. I doubt it. Right, that's about right halfway. I would say. Come over, be a thread, secure it in. Couple of turns. Try and keep the turns to a minimum on this bit because you don't want a big bulk, bumpy bulk in the middle of the fly. And there's a few little strugglers. Anyway, never mind. Right, come over the top of your rib at the back, straight turn over the top and secure that tail in. Try and get a couple of angled forward turns in on this section of the body. If you can keep them the same, that would be great. If not, it doesn't matter. Over the top. Tie that in. Cut that off. Bit of wax on the thread. Yeah, what we like there, that's all right. That. Right, the first for that on this first section is going to be an orange hen hackle. Nice orange hen hackle. Make sure you've got the good side facing new, the bright side. Tie that in. Once, twice. Fold it back. Couple of turns to see that right, plenty of wax on that thread there. Up with a feather, straighten it out, fold the fibres back. As you go, fold and up, fold and over, fold and back up. Couple of turns like that should do. Over the top, secure it in. It look messy, do not worry about it. Tighten that in. Have a look where your finger at. Where your fly sitting. Fold it in place. Plenty of wax on the thread. Good few nice tight securing turns on that. Okie dokie. Take it forward, put a few extra turns in there to take that um take the bump out. Back to the front of the fly. And in here I'm gonna put in another silver oval uni French rib. I'm going to turn the device upside down here. Try and catch that in on the bottom. There, chopping. Right. Got that in. Now, the next section on this is an orange floss. It's a uni floss, 600. One ply and it's in orange. Tie that in. Pull it back, full into the body. It works on the thread. Straighten the fibers out. Have a look over. Is it gonna sit all right? Do you know, I think that'll do. I'm not gonna to be too fussy. These shrimp flies, I think you can get too fussy with them. A rough looking shrimp flies at the end of the day. I think with fly tying for for what I do anyway, I like the thing. At least if you're going to have a scruffy shrimp fly, at least try and make it symmetrical in its scruffiness. So fold this um, orange floss forward as you can, trying to ensure you've got a nice flat, even coverage by the left to right motion 
like that as you go on. Keeps it nice and flat, spreads it out. And underneath and over with your thread. Couple of turns to secure it in. Off skis. Couple of base turns of waxy thread down just to build the base up for where your head's going to be, etc. And wax. Come and get the rib, follow the rib through, see if you can follow the pattern of the previous tinsel rib on the back of this fly. So it looks like it's continuing on. That should do. Might get a few more turns on the front of the fly than you did on the back. Actually, yeah. I think there. Maybe he's put a couple of too many turns on that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can you can mess around with the um, the spacing of your hackles and the. Uh, Spacing the ribs like uh, just a suit. It's, it's not something I'm too fussed about, and it's something you can play with your own personal taste. Right, champion, cut that in. Let all wax on the thread. On the front of this fly, we've got a white hen hackle. Tied in by the tip again. Good side facing you. Once, twice. Pull it back once, twice, come back down. Make sure you're happy with it. Cut the tip off. Straighten them out. Fold back over the top, back underneath. Fold back over the top, fold back over you go. Keep folding your hackle fibers back as you turn. Over that, pull out with your thread, twist it at 90 degrees. Turning. Some people turn these hackles back on themselves and secure them in with a few turns. But um, I've, I've I started doing it when I first started tying, um, and I was getting a lot of bulk on my flies, and so I stopped doing it. Uh, I made sure I had plenty of wax on my thread, and uh, I'm a really really rough caster, like, and I've never had a fly um, fall to pieces on as yet. And so I think if the flies don't fall to pieces on me. It ain't gonna fall to pieces on anybody. Because I'm a very rough caster, self admittedly hopeless caster. Right, you've got your feathers where you want them. Have a little look. The play on one of them. A good few strong turns over the top of there to secure that in. It'll not get anywhere. There's plenty of wax on that thread. It's got a good hold. Right. Come in in front, good base of thread down for your jungle cock. Right, now I did have two jungle cocks here. I was far off when I'm busy tying. I found them here. We are two jungle cock eyes selected off your cape at the same size if possible. That's the back side of the jungle cock, the front side is the coloured side. I'm going to put them on at the top. I like a long jungle cock on a shrimp fly and I like them sitting more to the top of the fly and uh, sort of a bit more closer to parallel to the hook shank really. So I'm probably running into the tag with these I would say, or the length of the body anyway. Put them on, get a thread over the top, one or two turns, see where you're sitting, position them where you want them to be. Um, 
Make sure you get them right. Spend a little bit of time getting them where you want them to be. See them, they look about similarly spaced. And then I'll get a couple of thread turns in. The thread's looking a bit dry. Bit of wax on. Fold these eyes back. These say stalks back, sorry. Keep an eye on your eyes because you don't want your eyes slipping when you're folding the stalks back. Fold them back. Cut them off. Close as you can get them. Push them forward so your eyes sit down nice. Hold on. That one's not sitting the best. Right. Finish this head off. I like this U uh, UTC um, Ultra Thread in red because once you've got the fly tied, you're happy with how much wax you've got on. You can then begin to build up the head, easing off on the wax, and just putting uh, plenty of that colourful. Colourful thread on. It gives it a nice bright finish. Right. And the whip finish. Once, twice, three, four, five, five something like that will do. Underneath. Cut that off. Have a look, see what you think. Let's have a look at this fly. That that jungle cut eye there isn't quite sitting right for me. I think that's a bit better now. Happy with that. I'm not so happy with a couple of them fibers there. Oh God, I've creased one of them. I've creased one of the hair and hackle fibers on the orange bit at the back. I suppose that will fly that. Never mind it. That'll be all right. Yes. Bit of varnish. Oh, sorry, not varnish. Bit of super glue. I haven't done a video for a little while. I'm getting a bit mixed up. Coat of super glue on the head. And then once that dries, two coats of varnish normally finishes a fly off lovely. That's fantastic, lad. Nice little fly. Have a little bit of naff on with the tail if you wish. Bit of moisture. Have a look at your fly. What's that sitting like? It's looking alright, that. Maybe I've gone a bit thin with the orange floss. Hasn't got the brightest of colours on it on the front half of the fly. But I may want to go and fold a touch. That is the Black Junction Shrimp. And I think that'll catch fish. Nice fly, I'll take that off the vase. See if I can get it on my finger for you. That's the way the fly sits. And thanks very much for watching guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and um, leave your comments and um, like. And uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Silverbar Summerflies. Thanks very much.